Hey everyone, welcome back to another Boat Art Vlog. In this video, we'll be spending a day in Hiroshima. The first place we'll be visiting is Miyajima, a nearby island off the coast of Hiroshima Bay, where we visit places such as Itsukushima Shrine and interact with the local deer population. After that, we head back to Hiroshima to spend a quiet moment at the Hiroshima Peace Memorial Park. Alright, let's get this vlog started. Our trip to Hiroshima begins with us at Kyoto Station, boarding the Tokaido Shinkansen. This will be our ride for the day, taking us straight to Hiroshima. The ride to Hiroshima will take approximately 1 hour and 55 minutes. During the ride, I take the time to record some footage of the Shinkansen speeding by the vast landscapes, towns, and cities of Japan, as I did during my previous ride from Tokyo to Kyoto. Now, I want to take this time to share some information about transportation in Japan. You may be asking how I'm able to ride the Shinkansen or any other buses or trains during my trip. This is because right after I touched down in Japan, my family purchased JR passes for all of us. JR passes enable people to ride any JR trains, buses, or ferries for an unlimited time during their trip. I found the JR Pass to be very useful and definitely worth it the next time any of you consider visiting Japan. However, it is a bit pricey as the type of pass we purchased was a 14-day pass, which cost 80,000 yen. This equates to around 511 US dollars, so again, a bit pricey and if you don't have the money for a JR Pass, you might want to consider some cheaper alternatives. Once we arrive in Hiroshima, we take the Sanyo line to the JR ferry port, which takes us directly to Miyajima Island. As I mentioned earlier, since this ferry is under JR, I am able to ride the ferry using my JR pass. I also want to use this time to describe the weather in Japan. In December, Japan is very dry and cold with short daytimes, where the sun sets at 4.30pm and with temperatures at around 50 degrees Fahrenheit or lower, especially in the nighttime when it gets 10 degrees cooler. That is why you can see me and my family wearing a lot of layers in previous Japan vlogs. Here in Hiroshima, the weather is similar, around 50 degrees Fahrenheit and very dry weather with little rain. While there wasn't rain that day, there was a lot of clouds. On the bright side, no pun intended, Hiroshima doesn't get that many visitors in December, making it the perfect month to visit. As the ferry crossed Hiroshima Bay and got closer to the island, we get a glimpse of Itsukushima Shrine. This is a place we'll be visiting shortly after docking. After setting foot in Miyajima, we immediately begin walking around and I start to notice the local deer population. Fun fact, Miyajima is home to 500 deer and it's pretty common to see them among the locals in Miyajima. These deer were also considered the sacred messengers from the gods known as Shinroku. We finally make our way to Itsukushima Shrine, which is a well-known landmark in Miyajima. This shrine is special because it was built over the water, making it seem like it was floating in the sea when the high tides came in. Since there were no tides at the moment, the shrine was well within walking distance, making it perfect for some pictures close up.
While I was at Itsukushima Shrine with my cousins, both my parents went on a separate trip to Momijidani Park, where they took the Miyajima Ropeway all the way up to Mount Misen. For a round trip, the cost for Miyajima Ropeway is 1,840 yen, and for a one-way trip, the cost is 1,010 yen. Mount Misen is Miyajima's highest peak, standing at 535 meters above sea level, and along with Itsukushima Shrine, is considered a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The footage here which my parents recorded shows the spectacular view of Miyajima, the Sado Inland Sea, other islands, and Hiroshima City in the distance from the top of Mount Misen. When my parents regrouped with me and my family, that's when the deer began getting aggressive considering the fact that it was around lunchtime and they were starting to get hungry. Oh my god, it won't let go! Oh my god! Uh, do I even want to try? They did warn him. Oh. Uh. I don't think it's worth like you getting any more. Give me a bit that's like elevated though. It's not food, bro. Sheesh. That deer is a savage. Damn, bro. Back up. Oh god, it's it's just chewing it up. <laughs> oh my god! It's like, it's like, tell, oh my god!
personally, I wouldn't take that level of disrespect. That's just kind of dope. After spending most of the day at Miyajima, we take the Sanyo line again to Yokogawa Station. From there, we take the Hiroshima Dentetsu No. 7 tram to the Hiroshima Peace Memorial Park. As many of you know, on August 6, 1945, the United States dropped the first atomic bomb in Hiroshima, devastating the city and leaving it in ruins. An estimated 140,000 people were killed. To make matters worse, the survivors of the bombing suffered from leukemia, cancer, and other side effects from radiation lingering from the blast. The site we visited, known as the A-Bomb Dome, was the Prefectural Industrial Promotion Hall, which was used to promote Hiroshima's industries and other products. Its skeletal remains still stand today as part of the memorial. There are also other parts of the memorial park which I was unable to get pictures of, such as the Memorial Cenotaph and the Children's Peace Monument, both of which were built in honor of those lives lost during the bombing. Well that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this vlog of my day trip to Hiroshima. Stay tuned for any future upcoming content that I will be working on.